Hello, you are watching HW News. This is me Anusha. Let us have a quick look at the headlines today. Karnataka's Congress Janta Dal Secular Coalition Government, who are on the verge of losing its majority after 14 exits, have now found some breathing time as Speaker Ramesh Kumar decided that the resignations were not in order. None of the lawmakers had met him, so Mr. Ramesh Kumar told the governor in the letter, while this buys the ruling coalition a little more time, more exits may be inevitable. Now, what dozens of Congress lawmakers skipped a meeting today despite compulsory attendance. Three of them called in seek. Now, the Speaker has further said that the MLAs have not given letter as per law, so they have to come again. Now, moving on, Shabana Azmi, who came under fire for her remark that if anyone criticizes the government, they are dubbed as anti-national attacked the religious fundamentalist in her response to the criticism. The veteran actor questioned the uproar over her remark, which she made while addressing a gathering in Indore on July 6th, where she was fated with an award for her work for women empowerment. Now, UPA chairperson Sonia Gandhi has proposed Congress leader and Lok Sabha MP Adar Ranjan Chaudhary's name for the chairperson of Public Accounts Committee. Sonia Gandhi recommended Adir Ranjan Chaudhary's name, who is also the Congress Lok Sabha floor leader during an internal discussion with the party members. However, the final announcement will be done by the Speaker after the consultation with the government opposition leaders. Now, in the first, the history of Bhate Janata Party political ideologue Arasis has been included in the history books of Nagpur University. Nagpur University has included the role of Arasis in nation building in its second year of BA history books. The inclusion of Arasis history in the university syllabus is likely to create an uproar among the opposition parties who have accused the ruling Bhate Janata Party government of saffronization of education. Now, US President Donald Trump lashed out at India once again today, saying that the country has long had a field day with tariffs and it was no longer acceptable. And for more news updates, log on to www.hwnews.in.